please follow me for the making of risoys with my mom and sister, which is a beautiful Portuguese recipe that you're going to love. These are the ingredients. Risoys is the plural of risol. And when I was a kid, I would find these beauties in every single part. I would find pastéis de bacalhau, which is the first recipe of this channel, the link above. And also you'll find croquettes. I promised that we're going to make it as well because it's all so delicious. It was very simple. It was very funny to find it. And a certain time it was not fashionable anymore. But now we're just craving for it in every party anyway. So it's a must. Risoys are the best. Sometimes you have it as a snack, sometimes you have it as a meal paired with a little bit of rice or salad. Now let's follow the recipe because I have a lot to say. This recipe is divided in two parts. One is the dough, which is the little shell that will be outside, and then the inside is the stuffing, and that's what we're doing right now. My mom is preparing it. And it has the onions, the fish, and then a little bit of garlic, milk, flour, and butter. And please check how we make it. How mom makes it just for me. You can make the stuffing with fish or meat, shellfish, or even vegetables, of course. My favorite is fish, and we make it with leftovers. Mom does not appreciate to have things out of place or disorganized, even the parsley when chopped. So everything in her house, it's in the right place and beautifully put. A lot to measure up to, I know. But also a great example that I love to follow. Now we're going back to the recipe. We're just making sure that we're creating a very smooth and rich filling for the risoj. Nothing like the things that you make home from scratch. And here is an example of how beautiful and wonderful these risoj are. <laughs> Uma colher para provar. Tá bom? Um bocadinho de sal. And like Chef Ramsay says, always taste your food, otherwise you will not know. This is the time for correcting your seasoning. Finishing now the filling and now we're going to let it rest and start the dough. Salt. Uma. For the flour dough, you add one liter of water and then two spoons of butter, salt and okay. zest of one lemon. Then, when the water is boiled and the butter is melted, you take all of the lemon zest and you add all of the flour. And then you just allow it to cook for a little bit and you roll out after kneading for a little bit. Bom. 
Ui, tanta farinha. Acho muita farinha. Mas o que é que eu faço? Escuta, faz tu. Está bem, mamã. Eu não tenho força. Não. Tanta, pois, pois. Tanta farinha. Vá, então vamos lá fazer. Not easy hoje. to make alone because it was hard and then I received a phone call. Mum could not ah, wait. Filha, As usual, she's filha. very organized, like I said. <laughs> now, one of my favorite parts is just coming ahead. Take a close attention now. I'm cleaning, but my mom is supervising and she's not happy. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't she the best? Oh my God, she's so cool. I love her so much. Yeah, got it. For the normal gluten flours, you roll out immediately the dough. So it makes the rissoige and you just fry them. Here, you have to let the dough cool down completely, otherwise it starts breaking. So we tried the first batch, it was not really coming out as we wanted, and we took advantage and we put it in the oven, which was absolutely lovely and delicious, but then we just let the dough cool down, we roll it out, and we fried it with the, a little bit of egg and gluten-free breadcrumbs. É por baixo. Vá, onde é que se põe? Oh. É depois, Ui. não é agora. Lá é. Ah, Here you see that they went through a little bit of hard time. This riso is right. It looks like kintsugi. Being frustrated, we had a little break, and then this, the dough was a little cool. It was just perfect afterwards. So we had a wonderful example of that good things come to those that know how to wait. Okay, so now this is the time that we start all over again. And now things are completely different. A little bone, fish bone. And we lost electricity right now. Oh, the drama, they have to wait. We just got inside the oven and voila. And then we serve with love and bon appetit. Don't forget to follow the recipe in description. Of course, you have the risage made in the oven and fried. Equally delicious. So good and especially made from scratch. With love from my family to you. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and of course to share. I love to have you as a Gabrielian and I cannot wait to make more recipes with you, for you. And thank you so much for being here.